Hello, and welcome to today's special webinar event on defending your data from bad actors. Today's webinar is sponsored by Rubrik and Pure Storage and produced by Actual Tech Media. My name is Scott Becker. I'm from Actual Tech Media, and I'm excited to be your moderator for this special event. Now, before we get to today's great content, there are a few things you should know about this webinar. First off, we want this to be an informative event for you, so we encourage any questions in the questions box in our webinar control panel. Not only will we have team members responding to questions during the live event, but we'll also have a dedicated Q&A session at the end of the presentation where we'll discuss in greater detail some of the top questions that you ask. Second, in the handout section of your webinar control panel, you'll find that we're offering several resources. We have a white paper about flash blade data protection with Rubrik, as well as a link to rubric.com for more information. So I encourage you to access those resources now and share them with your friends and colleagues. Third, at the end of this webinar event, we will be awarding a $300 Amazon gift card to one lucky attendee on the live event. Of course, you must be in attendance during the live event to qualify for that prize. We recognize that some of you work for organizations that don't allow you to accept prizes, if that's the case for you, or if you want to donate the value of the gift card, we do work with several great charitable organizations. So thanks to generous prize winners on previous actual tech media events, thousands of dollars have been donated to those organizations. So thank you in advance if you make that choice today. The official terms and conditions of today's prize drawing can be found in the handout section. Just scroll to the bottom and you'll find the prize terms and conditions link there. And finally, one of the best um, benefits of this event is the opportunity to ask questions of our expert presenters. And to help encourage your questions, we have a special additional prize. That's another Amazon gift card, this one for $50 for the best question. At the end of the event, we'll look at all the questions, pick out the very best one, and contact that prize winner. And with that, let's get to today's event. So it's my pleasure to introduce you to our presenters today. We have uh, Ramesh Chatur, who's Senior Director of Strategic Alliances at Rubrik, and we also have David Huskison, who is Rapid Restore Solution Manager at Pure Storage. So at this point, I'm going to turn things over to Ramesh. Ramesh, take it away. Thank you, Scott. Thank you so much. Um, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all of you. From wherever you're joining, I'd like to introduce you to this webinar with Rubrik and Pure Storage, moderated by Actual Tech Media. The title of the webinar is Defending Your Data from Bad Actors. My name is Ramesh Shithar. I'm a Senior Director of Strategic Alliances at Rubrik. I've been here close to four years. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank uh, David Huskison, my co-presenter and good friend from Pure Storage. And also like to take this opportunity to thank our good friends uh, at Pure Storage. Pure has been a fantastic partner of Rubrik since a long time. In fact, since the early days of Rubrik's inception, we have great product adjacencies. Pure is a world-class you know, all flash storage platform. Rubrik is a world-class data security platform and we complement each other so well with modern technologies. We also have tremendous value exchange. I'd like to also highlight that we have co-investments in the space and uh, it's just uh, going to be a really good session. Looking forward to cover a lot of great details with David and the team here. And we'd like to keep this session very interactive. So. If you have questions, you know, don't wait till the end of the session, keep popping them and we'll have experts answering it uh, as soon as we can. So with that and with no further ado, we'll, we'll move forward to the next slide. Let's get started. I wanted to uh, give you a real background of uh, what this session is all about. So we will be covering how Rubrik is changing the landscape of um, the data security. And in many ways, uh, we're going to go through the details and the value proposition, but it all starts with the top priorities you have in mind. When we talk to our customers, CISOs, CTOs, prospects, all of these entities, regularly three different ideas come top of mind. One is the concept of data security. Data is the core asset in your enterprise. The question remains, how quickly can I recover from a threat? 
like a ransomware. And typically what we've seen is on an average, it takes about 21 days uh, to recover from a ransomware. That's the downtime. And we we'll dive into a lot of details on this subject. The second one is how do I automate data management? Because there's data that's spread in all these silos, whether it's enterprise, cloud, SaaS applications, and how can I fully protect that? And as of today, uh, what we know from reports and studies is only 62% of the application data is protected, right? So that means about 38% of the data is vulnerable to be taken down. And if the applications go down, your data goes down, your data goes down, your business goes down, and you cannot suffer this kind of a downtime. So we'll go a little more into details of what the solutions are in that space as well. And then moving forward, the next priority always is how do I fast track my cloud journey? How do I go to the cloud safely, right? And this is where if you have an application like Microsoft Office 365, and if you want to leverage the cloud, how do I get there safely, securely, in the lowest amount of time? And this is where Rubrik and Pure add a lot of value together. And we've seen about 71% of organizations that are in this space of M365, they've suffered some kind of an M365 account takeover. So this is so important for us to take into fact that while we have all these priorities, it's very important to go and bet on a very, very important solution that can make your journey easier, faster, at the lowest cost, and most importantly, at the lowest risk. Because the risk of taking down is, is totally not worth it. There's not a day, there's not a week, there's not a month or a quarter or a year that goes by without using multiple, multiple cases of ransomware threats. Because everyone's trying to move to digital and digital transformation is a must. But with that comes in the threat of a digital threat and it's coming in the form of a ransomware attack. So that's, uh, that in a sense is the whole picture of why we need to look into protecting your data and betting on a world-class data security platform. And this is what uh, Rubrik is invested in and we are changing the game in this space. So if you move forward, uh, when you think about it, your core asset in the enterprise is your data, right? Data is your currency. We've known that for some time. And the data is spread across multiple silos, right? Whether it's enterprise with VMware, Oracle database, other databases, other enterprise applications, or choice of cloud, the hyperscale, whether it's Amazon, Microsoft, Google, and others. Or the data can be in a SaaS format with Microsoft Office 365 or SAP HANA. No matter where your data sits, the burden of protecting them sits on your IT. The IT guys are always thinking, okay, I have all these fragments of data. I have the data is growing. It's, it's growing at a much faster rate than I've imagined. And now I need to protect them. Now the challenge here guys is before in a rubric came in, the only choice you really had is to go in with the legacy solutions. And the legacy data protection solutions were built before the cloud era. So that's one problem. So they're insufficient. The other thing is they're also the single system of record for all your data. So if you're banking on them, that is clearly not enough. You, you get taken down, the applications go down, the risk just multiplies. And with the threats that are coming in, your problem just got supersized. So the enormity of this cannot be understated, right? It is a clear and present danger. So Rubrik looked at it and having come in the cloud era and having understood the problem, we started building on this. So when you go through uh, what we've done and you click through this, 
what you'll see is the IT guys are facing all these problems. They have some choices. There are about 40 to 50 different solutions that are being thrown at them at, at different levels, right? You see perimeter, network, endpoint, application, DDoS, and all these. Unfortunately, what happens is even if you invest in multiple of these solutions, the bad actors are able to break it. They come in, they hijack the application, the credentials are lost. In some cases, it's multiple, the blast radius is big, right? So the application start going down. When your application goes down, your problem just started, but you also do not know how big the problem is. What applications went down? Where else did they go down? What do I know? So this is where Rubrik has changed the game and we are coming in with a single piece of code that converges data protection and data security that's easy to scale on a universal platform and we are starting to provide the peace of mind. We are able to build through that and able to solve this problem uniquely. So this is what we call Rubrik's Zero Trust Data Security Platform. And we are able to recover and protect your data and give you that much needed peace of mind so that you can go focus on your business without having to worry that what happens if my application takes, gets taken down. If you click through this, you'll see that why are organizations stuck paying ransoms, right? First of all, let, let's go through the anatomy of it. First, the ransomware comes in, it locks down the data, okay? Data gets encrypted because their bad guys are able to sneak in. What are your options? As soon as you find out, do you wanna go ahead and pay the ransom? If you pay the ransom, do you think you're still good? What else has been hit? So what other options do you have? Okay, let's say you choose not to pay the ransom and you want to recover. And that's, that can be complicated too. This is the first time you'll have to engage your IT ops and your sec ops. Both teams have to work together. They'll have to answer a whole plethora of questions. Is my data protected? What part got taken down? Is, is there sensitive data that got taken down? Is there personal information? And then what is my time to recover? What kind of investigations do I need to run? How much time is it going to take? Should I just go and pay the ransom? No. Can I, is there sensitive data that's gone? And by the way, if I recover, is the recovery going to be healthy or are there going to be bad infections out there? So it is so complex. And then can we recover quickly? And oftentimes what happens is these answers you know, are complex. And if you go to a legacy solution and if you invested in the legacy solutions. There's one or two answers. One is, I don't know if there's an answer to your question for one or multiple of these, or the answer is no. And, and clearly, then your business is down, you're losing money you know, every single hour in, in multitudes, and that is a bad problem to have. And you still end up paying the ransom. So this is a really complex problem. It is its enormity is huge. So what can we do about it, right? This is where we came with a fresh approach with securing your data with Rubrik. Because when you're protected by Rubrik, there is a single piece of code software that you can bank on that can get the data security job done with Rubrik Zero Trust Data Protection. And what that means, I'll get into that in a minute. And it also has data security. And zero trust data security, what that really means is rubric works in a way where you do not trust any of the stuff that's going on. Rubric goes with the assumption that your entire infrastructure is compromised. And when there's a real hit, we'll work towards resilvering all the data, hydrating, so that we can restore it to the point of time that you really need in the fastest possible way. And the way we do that is with five different 
components. The first one is rubric zero trust data protection. What this really means is at the core of rubric zero trust data protection within the data security is rubrics intelligence with AI and ML that can tell you what kind of credentials need to be authenticated to access what kind of data. To start off, we're rock solid there. Then on top of that, if you add on the immutability of the rubric file system, it's truly immutable, cannot be encrypted, and then we also logically air gap. So you keep on adding more and more strengths that makes it rock solid from a data protection perspective. And then, unfortunately, if you get hit by ransomware with a legacy solution, you have no answers. But with zero trust, rubric as a ransomware investigation process. With that, what happens is you can discover data anomalies with AI and ML. You can look into anomalies and recover to a certain point in time. And all of this tells you that the investigation process, like we said, can take a lot of time. The whole idea is to cut down the time it takes to investigate. So that is rubrics, authentic ransomware investigation. And then the more important part for me is if there's a sensitive data that's been lost or impacted or compromised. And for that, you'll have to look through that. Data classification become so important because the dimensions of data protection is massive. And Rubrik thinks through all these angles and explores what kind of risks are there. As an example, if you are a victim of ransomware investigation, did you lose any personal information, right? Any PIA being lost. So we can assess all those risks. Is there a double extortion, right? You know, these kinds of risks are real and Rubrik proactively thinks through that. And then we work on things like incident containment. And let's look at what incident containment means. When you're recovering, getting back to a healthy state, what if there's a bad actor that sneaks in? And this is where Rubrik's threat hunting comes into play. With this, we are able to look into the bad ones, quarantine them, clean them, and come back to a time that is clean. And we totally get rid of the malware infection to a healthy state so that you're up and running. This is what businesses need today. They need an actual solution that works, says that it works when it works, and classify. And finally, you look at orchestrated application recovery. This is for mass, mass and bulk recovery, where you can recover apps and data with guided workflows. You can tell at what time you want to recover, how you want to recover, and we do this all by adhering to the NIST security standards, which means there is a lot of preparation that goes into it. We are able to proactively detect and analyze this and then go into containment, total eradication and complete recovery. This has never been done before. And this is why Rubrik's zero trust data security is a game changer. And now let's see what happens when you apply the Rubrik zero trust data security to data, and this helps you avoid paying the ransom. So now you have an option to attempt and recover. You don't have to pay the ransom. You know that the IT SecOps team are working together. And this is where Rubrik has integrated with a world-class Palo Alto solution, Palo Alto Network Solutions. We are part of the XOR integration. We can make sure that the data is protected, regularly being investigated, your sensitive data is protected, and go through the incidents and make sure those are contained. More importantly, we can recover quickly and recover to the point of time that you need, right? And recover the data. And when we work with Pure Storage as an example, Pure can do stuff on the snapshot side. They can go recover and go into a healthy state. So this is a total game changer coming from zero trust data security. And the number of customers that are adopting this is soaring every single day, both in the enterprise, commercial, and all kinds of verticals. So, and we'll go through one of the use cases later today. 
But let's see what else Rubrik is offering. So when this is working, Rubrik is also offering a ransomware recovery warranty. This is a first in the industry where Rubrik is really doubling down on its technology. Rubrik is offering up to $5 million in ransomware recovery warranty when you work and invest in Rubrik's Enterprise Edition. And we work together in doing data security best practices. So for all of you listening out there, we can work towards an assessment of your environments and give you peace of mind. So the warranty here from Rubrik for ransomware recovery, it warrants up to $5 million based on the data that is protected by recovery. And you know, there's other details that's garnered by the subject of terms and conditions. So there's a lot of data we covered there in terms of what Rubrik does. Uh, but at this stage, I want to turn over to my good friend, David Huskisson to see what he's got to uh, share with us from Pure Storage. Thank you, David. It's a pleasure to have you here. Uh, thank you, Ramesh. Um, that was that was a terrific uh, session there, um, and a great and a great setup for me to uh, to to bring us home. So let's just let's just talk about let's let's do a bit of and you know Ramesh has said a lot of the context, and I think everyone hopefully who's viewing this call will know you know, why data protection is, is so important. But, you know, if we really zoom in on the last sort of, I would say the last sort of three or four years, for me, I've been in the industry a long time. And I think what I'm seeing more recently is, you know, you know, is some new trends. So, you know, given current circumstances, you know, we've all been at home, we've all been remote. And, you know, we, we're, we're fully into this sort of digital transformation volumes of data are growing rapidly. That's a big issue for data protection. That's a big trend. I think for me, again, I, uh, as a, I guess as a veteran, I'm pretty excited that I feel data protection is going through a renaissance right now. So, you know, 20, 15 years ago, it was all about sort of tape and how long it, it, it takes me to back up. And it feels like just an insurance policy. And I think with the growth in, in sort of ransomware, especially, I think sort of data protection and data protection strategies are, are going through kind of a, you know, a golden age, because now decision makers and CXO staff look at data protection as the, as the vehicle that gets me out of a mess. So now we're seeing, you know, some great new technologies, Remes just spent some, some time showing you some of the great innovations that Rubrik have built. And I think we're seeing that generally across the industry. And I think part of that is, you know, the, the real growth and the real use, I would say, of, of data protection in solving some of those ransomware uh, situations. And then finally, more of a personal thing, you know, I feel like, again, we're all in a, we're, we are all in a, in a universe now where we're taking, you know, our experiences with sort of commercial IT, like streaming services and photos and cloud storage. And we're bringing those with us to work. And I think, and I think what, what's, what that's driving is, I think it's driving this, this, uh, this need to have everything available all of the time. Sounds kind of crazy, but I think that's driving data protection now more towards a recovery discussion not necessarily a backup one. So I think some of these things are really, are really, you know, really re-emphasizing the, the importance of, of data protection. So just a little bit of a pop quiz, just to break it up a little bit. So, you know, three questions here, you know, you can read the slides. I'll just pause for, for just a couple of seconds, just mentally, you know, take note of, you know, kind of what your, you know, what your views are, what your answers would be to, to, to this. Uh, to these three questions. And so th th these are some industry statistics. For me, the surprising one, and, and Ramesh again sort of talked on, you know, talked to this kind of nicely, is that middle one. Um, you know, that the the fact that there's the that people are paying ransoms, and that is a sizable uh, you know, average ransomware payout. And clearly we hear about the big ones that make the news, but there's thousands of them that never get near the media. And I was astounded actually when I saw this statistic that, you know, 
organizations are still paying on average this this level of of uh, this level of a ransomware payout if you like and it and it kind of gets to this really and again Ramesh sort of touched on this you know there is a question you know a philosophical question around you know should you really be be paying the ransom and you can see some statistics here not a big surprise that even if you do pay the ransom you know uh, over a third of customers organizations that report don't get all of their data back and i just want to throw in a couple of other statistics here you know 50 percent of the time we've seen in a study where the ransom gets paid the ransom the the, the attacker just wanders off with the money and never never pays out so you've got a one in two chance of actually paying your 230 grand and not getting any data. And then even if you pay the ransom, you know, that can be a signal that you're, you're, you're a payer. So what's to stop the attacker coming back um, and, and, and repeating the exercise? And there's clearly a chance that even during your sort of cleanup and you go through your data validation, they may leave something in there that you know lets them get back in a lot easier. So there's lots of good reasons why you shouldn't pay the ransom. But obviously, if you're in a crunch situation, no, you know people are paying over 230 grand to try and get try and get their data back. So let's just sort of pause a little bit and just talk about sort of the you know um, what we would call an anatomy of a ransomware attack both from a sort of you know from a process perspective and also from a from a timeline perspective and there's really three distinct phases of a, of a ransomware attack you phase one is really about you know getting into you know getting into an organization whether that's you know uh, exploiting known vulnerabilities poor credential hygiene attacking dmz servers you know we know there are thousands of ways um, when we do post-mortems of how, how attackers actually get in. I think the one thing that, that, that does get lost a little bit is it's not an automatic once I'm in, I then go and start encrypting or deleting data. There is this whole moment called dwell time. And, you know, and I think there was, there was certainly a study a, at least a year ago that was saying the average attacker in a large enterprise could spend north of, you know, 120, 130 days actually just sitting inside of your organization's IT infrastructure and just looking, uh, you know, going through systems quietly, trying to gain access, looking at where data's growing, you know, attacking backup products, because I think one of the, one of the unfortunate trends we're seeing, because there's now more reliance on data protection to get you out of a crunch, attackers, you know, are now, you know, are, are targeting those systems. So there's this whole concept of dwell time, just figuring out data patterns, where the important data is. Of course, when it comes to the actual attack, the moment of encryption or, or deletion, that happens very quickly. We've heard some terrible stories from organizations that we, we've worked with, where, you know, within 30 minutes, um, you can have no access to anything and even sometimes you have to get down to the data center and actually you know, physically get into the data center and start some kind of remediation approach. Let, let, let's look at it again from a sort of timeline, kind of a timeline perspective. And again, there's, you, know, you can see it's, it's weeks and months rather than you know, hours and days. And you, know, you can kind of see from the slide here, all the processes uh, we go through and then obviously unfortunately for us as the organization that final process of analysis which is critical and then the subsequent recovery um, is you know is is days or months and you know there's 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 some great examples out there uh, where it's you know organizations get attacked and it can take you know upwards of a month to get back into service I do think though there is a, a glimmer of an upside here and the glimmer of the upside to me is whilst these uh, attackers are you know, methodical and will spend that dwell time looking at the environment, trying to figure out what those critical data sets are to, to attack, I think it does give organizations time to 
you know, do analysis, you know, have security and management software in there, looking for patterns, doing log analysis and device analysis to actually look to see whether there's unusual behavior. And we'll, we'll, we'll come back to that in a, in a moment. So how does, how does, how can Pure really help your, you know, really help your organizations, you know, mitigate, prevent, insulate you, recovery from a, from a ransomware, you know, from a, from a ransomware attack. And I just wanted to spend a few moments and, you know, we, uh, you know, Ramesh said in his, um, in his uh, portion of the session, you know, this is where we've done a lot of joint engineering, uh, you know, with, with Rubrik, really delighted with the, the solution that we've kind of built together. And so we've, we've introduced a capability called safe mode snapshots. And really it just sits around or on top of or adjacent to our normal, our normal snapshot technologies, either on, on, on Flash Array or on Flash Blade. And it really just implements a, a separate security model that, that prevents those snapshots being removed. So if I'm taking snapshots of my critical virtual machines, which are orchestrated by Rubrik, even if the attacker gets onto my Flash Array somehow and, uh, and tries to delete you know, tries to delete the virtual machines, then goes after the snapshots that, that Rubrik has created with safe mode, uh, that it makes it, it almost impossible to be able to do that. So you're effectively securing copies of your, of your critical data the moment that storage snapshot has, has occurred. It's literally milliseconds. So the window for attack is, 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 is negligible. And obviously with, with all flash storage, um, when, when it comes to recovery, recovery is, you know, so much more speedier and, you know, works seamlessly across Flash Blade and, and, and Flash Array. And again, because of the engineer and integration work we've done with Rubrik, it's all, it's all seamless to, to you as the, uh, to you as the administrator. So great feature, easy to turn on, uh, no additional licensing. You can just get it going. And you've got you've instantly got levels of levels of protection there. So if we look at kind of the, the next part here, and I, I sort of alluded to that, you know, because of because of this dwell time that, that goes on in, in large scale attacks, you know, you have got a window of time to have your security or log ana analysis, device analysis uh, capabilities. You know, being able to constantly scan for your unknown behavior, strange behavior, and, and so on. And really, the, the benefit that Pure brings, you know, Pure brings there is, you know, by, by using a lot of the industry technologies that are out there, if you're running those on all flash storage, clearly you can run, you know, speed is, is greatly accelerated with all flash technologies. So clearly you can run more queries, you can analyze a lot more in a much shorter space of time. But also I think what's, what's kind of critical is, you know, you can with Pure's data reduction capabilities that are built directly into our, you know, into our storage offerings, what it means is you can, you know, compress data, reduce all of those logs and actually keep logs for a lot longer without breaking any kind of storage budget. So you can build up a you know a much longer bigger piece of you know big bigger chunks of analysis to really you know to really get to the bottom of and understand if anything untoward is happening in in your environment and then you know again i i you know both myself and ramesh have talked about this already but you know when it comes you know when it when the rubber meets the road it's all about being able to recover really, really quickly. Uh, you know, again, there's some great examples out there. You know, one well-known example from 2017, uh, shipping company, you know, got, you know, went to, you know, went to bed on a Thursday night with 10,000 virtual machines operating their shipping fleet, woke up the next day, zero virtual machines, couldn't access their VM infrastructure. Okay, luckily for them, they had, you know, a comprehensive backups, so they could begin the recovery process. Unfortunately for them, the technologies they were using just 
meant they weren't designed for high performance mass restore. So whilst they had great backups and secure backups, it was a 30 day plus lead time. And that cost that organization over $200 million. You know, not all breaches cost that, but that's generally, you know, in a very large enterprise that is very heavily reliant on IT with a recovery system not designed for mass restore, that can be what you're effectively exposed to. So really having that best in class recovery performance is, is absolutely critical. And again, in conversations with, with, with organizations we work with, it's trying to move that mindset from what I do day to day, which is maybe recovering half a dozen virtual machines and five or six databases. It's really building a recovery strategy for you to be able to recover everything in a very in a, in in a space of time that doesn't cost you know doesn't uh, massively cost the business from a revenue and, and brand perspective if you like so really you know I'll, I'll conclude here and hand back to Ramesh in a moment it's I'm hoping when you walk away from this you understand that you know the certainly the work we've done with Rubrik. Uh, you know, the joint engineering work we've done can really bring our safe mode snapshots under the control orchestration of, of, of rubric and can offer you instantly, you know, an extra layer of protection, but also can drive incredibly quick recoveries so that you're, you know, you're not, you're not just sitting there waiting while you're, you know, while you're, while your business is suffering. And clearly the, the great news from our side is that it's part of, the standard purity offering on both Flash Array and Flash Blade, and it all fits very nicely together with the engineering work that, that Rubrik have done uh, in partnership with us. So I'll pause there. Just as Ramesh said, I'm hoping that as, as I'm talking, you're adding questions uh, so we can, you know, we can get back to you on those. Um, but I'll hand back to you, Ramesh, um, to, uh, to get us over the finish line here. Thank you, David. That, that was uh, very enlightening. And now for the exciting part, we're gonna to move towards uh, a case study and some more details on where you can get help and more details. So the first part, I'd like to cover this case study um, of a large financial institution that was able to successfully accelerate the digital transformation with uh, rubric and pure storage. And the most important part here was they were able to do this by uh, fighting against uh, an increased ransomware threat uh, in the PCI, which is the payment card industry. So um, background, a large financial institution running on legacy storage and legacy data protection. They looked at Pure and Rubrik and they said, this is the best combination for us to protect our assets and to protect our customers' interests and where they wanna go. And the reason they looked at us was because of the challenge they had, their poor recovery time objectives and the backup management was so complex. Um, and it, they had difficulty scaling this to meet uh, their compliance requirements. And when you look at it, they were able to reduce their backup management time and the resources needed by that by 8x. So you see there a half of a headcount was this four of that. And they were able to reinvest those resources into the application space and work towards end user profitability. And successfully with Rubrik's immutability, they could protect against um, the ransomware attack the end of the day, what they really like is they were able to deal with a plethora of applications, whether it's VMware, SQL Server, and others, and they're growing their workloads in Pure and Rubrik. And they were able to realize a 30% in immediate hard dollar savings. So the business outcomes are just mind boggling when you bet on two good technologies that complement each other well whether it's Flashblade, Flash Array, or all these solutions, even Flash Array. See that Pure is offering, Rubrik is in a position to protect and make your data secure. Because when we secure your data, we secure your business. So that is massive. 
And in terms of next steps, if you want to hear about and learn about our latest innovations, you can go to rubric.com and you will have all the resources there. You can also reach out to an alias within Rubric. It's called data safety at rubric.com and you will get a free data security assessment for your opportunity. A specialist will jump onto you and we can walk you through the complex process and how we can make it simple for you to get help. And if you have other questions, you know, beyond, if you're shy to ask, if you don't have time, just send us an email to pure at rubric.com and we are here to help you out. And I'd like to thank you all at this stage for listening through this. Thank you, David from Pure Pleasure. and thank you, Becker from Actual Tech Media. And we can now transition to Q&A. Okay, gentlemen, great discussion. of Some of the issues and solutions around ransomware and data protection there. We had a comment from uh, Alan that Jurassic Park needed rubric slash pure storage because the one bad actor IT guy ruined a billionaire's dream. So thanks for that observation, Alan. But uh, Ramesh and David, are, are you ready for some questions? We've got a ton of them. You know, I see, I see a lot of questions and some common themes. So, so let me see if I can answer some of these. Okay. So, uh, one common question we've seen is, um, do we have uh, any more details on Rubrics ransomware warranty and what products do these apply to? It. This is very exciting. So, this um, this pertains to Rubrics Go Enterprise Edition. So, very clear it is with Rubrics Go Enterprise Edition, and it comes with Rubrics CEN, where we can do a monthly health check. So what, what happens is the warranty is tiered based on the amount of data you get protected. So that's one. Um, I don't know, David, if you want to answer any questions on uh, Rubrics CDM and Flashblade. No, I'm just, I'm just going through the, I'm just having a quick look through the, the questions here. Um, there, was a, there was a question from Joe, I think. Can a Rubrik be able to store pure storage snaps, safe mode snapshots with pure safe mode enabled? Yeah, so the, the short answer to that is, Joe, yeah, absolutely. Um, and, you know, Rubrik were one of our first partners here who were able to integrate with our Flash Array, uh, with our Flash Array safe mode snapshots. So you can orchestrate um, Flash Array snapshots from Rubrik uh, with safe mode enabled. And, you know, the moment that that, that snapshot's completed, it will go, it will be, it will, it will be, There'll be extra protection uh, afforded to it via safe mode, but it will still all be sort of orchestrated and managed by Rubrik. So it's it's very seamless to to switch on, and it's seamless to Rubrik. Um, so you you won't have to change anything. It will work with your normal operations as is. David, there's another one of, about um, f for you. I think what are the common use cases for safe mode snapshots? Yeah, good, good question. So, you know, what, what, what we've seen over the last year is there's, there's sort of primarily two, two, two use cases, I guess. Is, so there's the application end, if you like. So, you know, if you're taking snapshots of your, you know, your virtual machines or any other critical applications. So if you're just taking regular storage snapshots, you can instantly protect those. Um, with safe mode, so that's the, that's the sort of the first one, and then the second one is, you know, if you're storing backup repositories on on a on a flash array or a flash blade, you can use safe mode um, to to snapshot those as well, and so you, you're sort of protecting your mission critical apps at the source end, and then you're you're protecting your backup repositories as your as your secondary. So those those are primarily the the key use cases for, for safe mode that we see. Okay, great. Hey, Ramesh, I've got one for you. That it, it's it, it's an interesting question about the, the partnership. Do you, do you have any performance numbers with, with Rubrik CDM and Pure Flashblade that, that you can that you can share? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, so with Pure, we've been working since the very early days uh, of Rubrik, and uh, we've been uh, We've done a lot of work with Flash Array, clearly with Flashblade, and 
we have done multiple iterations of performance testing. Um, clearly, we, 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 we love the product. There's been um, a large number of data sets that's been tested with it. So a couple of things I'll say is we uh, have a handout as part of this webinar that we're giving out um, the numbers that we published. There's more work um, underway. So there's a lot of different data that, that we've collected and given. And if you still need more data or details, just feel free to email me or you can just send it to pubic.com. Okay, super. Yeah, and just a reminder that that handout is available in your in your handouts tab. There, it's the the FlashBlade data protection with with rubric uh, PDF uh, for download. There, um, you know, there were there were a couple of questions on a theme. We had one from Mark about are there tools that help you know uh, when to recover from? He, he continues. Lots of malware sits dormant for a time, so you don't want to recover to a backup of dormant malware. And then we had another question from Bob, similar, you know, typically when notified by the ransomware, or once you find it, it's too late, the code is all in your backups. Um, how can Rubrik or the, the joint solution cleanse our backups and infected online databases? Any thoughts or best practices around that? You know, what? what's unique, and, and that's a great question from Mark. Um, I think that that is very prevalent uh, in the industry, what's happening is people don't know when to act. Oftentimes it's too late. And this is where uh, Rubrik's Zero Trust Data Security solution is so, so cool because it, it goes with the assumption that your your systems are already compromised, right? Whether or not, it goes with the assumption that it's already compromised. And then when the event actually happens, you're able to recover so quickly. And that is where you have zero trust, zero security. We have a threat hunting capability. And all of this is based on um, AI and ML. So that is very, very um, handy so that you don't have to think about when you're hit or how you're going to recover. So that's, that's very important. The other thing I'll add is, um, again, based on a question here that, you know, you have a whole bunch of products. How do I know when? You know, this is where we can run an assessment in your environment with our partners like Pure and Palo Alto and others, and we can tell you uh, where you can optimize. Okay, super. Um, you know, another question here from, from Shanti is, is asking, does, does Rubrik provide reference architecture for, for DR in the cloud? Uh, yes, we do. Thank you, Shanti, for that question. We we have done that with multiple uh, cloud vendors. Um, now, the term reference architecture is loosely used. So what we've done is we've done validations. Depending on who you want, we, we can provide what we have seen as best practices. Because whatever we put out there, uh, so that it is validated and it is guaranteed. So reference architecture can be loosely used in the industry. So what we have is data sets that we provide as white papers and i'm happy to follow up offline on that okay super thank you um next question for for david um i wonder if you could talk a little bit about how flashblade delivers um high performance recovery you know what's what, what's behind that sure yeah so uh, i i could take an hour and i think we'd lose everybody so just <laughs> just briefly um you know flashblade is our is our uh, high performance scale out fast file and object offering and that's really so rather than being a traditional piece of storage with a controller and then a bunch of storage i think that the sort of clues in the name flashblade is actually a, a, a storage platform built on a, a, on a blade architecture and each blade has its own um you know networking storage and compute and so what that what that really means is that's really what gives you the scale and obviously the storage is all flash so you can expand you know up to sort of 10 petabytes you can expand a, a flash blade into a single namespace and each blade will give you a gigabyte a second of read so what what we often what you often find is in in sort of legacy infrastructures you know the more you back up um especially when you're deduplicating the slower it becomes we don't have that penalty with with flash blade so you can just keep scaling and as you scale the actual performance increases so that actually weirdly the more the bigger it gets the faster it goes so that's that's 
a very quick soundbite on how Flash Blade is able to deliver that high performance, uh, uh, high performance recovery. Okay, super. Um, you know, there were also some questions. We had a question from uh, Warren about you know scanning for uh, PII data. Um, you know, any thoughts uh, about that? I'm, I'm sure that comes up. Um, you know, are there are there tools um, that, that you guys have for that, or is, is that something that you do with third parties? So uh, the answer is this is a combination, right? I mean, um, there's multiple tools in the industry. Um, what we can do is, if there's an event like the example that I provided, the use case where mm -hmm. the data gets compromised and you're not protected, or you're not, or you're protected by an insufficient solution. That is an event that is not desirable. Um, what we can do is uh, help you get to a steady state much faster and also show you through our assessments how you can avoid getting into those situations. So it's twofold, how to stay healthy. And then if you're healthy, how, if uh, an event happens when you're being protected by a legacy solution, how you can get to that. So that's. That is a topic in itself. I'm happy to take that off. Okay, great. Hey, this next one uh, from Gilbert is is sort of a, a philosophical question that I'm sure we could fill an hour with, but I, I'd <laughs> love to get your your take on it briefly. Um, so Gilbert asks, how do you trade off data security, uh, you know, as in controlling access versus data usability, um, you know, for things like discoverability, normalization, metadata flow, governance, et cetera. Um, you know, it, it, I'm sure that comes up all the time. Any 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 thoughts on on how how to manage that trade-off? I think it's a great question. I think uh, once you start trading off, you're letting the bad guys give them a chance, right? So mm -hmm. the, these days, the number of events that are happening, the number of exposures that you have, the total surface area that is exposed is just getting bigger by more and more data. So you got to keep the guard up. You cannot just assume that you know, I'm going to have a certain area exposed. And, and there's a cost that comes with it. And, and the bigger cost is when the bad guys get through, the blast radius of that gets much bigger and they're, it becomes the attack becomes pervasive. So uh, it is a philosophical question and uh, it, it all depends on how important is the data. You know, you, like I said, you know, a lot of applications are not protected. If, if you're ready for that application or that piece of data to go down, then, you know, it, it's a different question. But I mean, in the ideal world, you get the best of both. You don't want to compromise on security. Yep. No, great advice. Um, you know, and I do want to pause here just because I, I know uh, David and Ramesh, you guys have both been sort of scanning through the questions as well. You know, is there is there anything that jumped out at you that you, you really want to do address that, that maybe um, I haven't pulled out of the questions yet? No, I, I, I just say that um, this is a very unique solution that we presented today for the first time. And there's a lot of work that has gone into it from both sides. And it addresses a lot of use cases and uh, there's a lot of learning. So we are happy to take follow-ups, happy to run an assessment, happy to work with the teams and uh, get you all up and running and stay healthy in the new year. Great. Yeah, yeah. And, and David, any uh, closing thoughts? On your side? Uh, you know, just to echo that, I mean, there's some really great questions. And I'm sorry we don't have time here to uh, address all of them. Uh, you know, I'm particularly proud of, you know, how our engineering teams at Pure and, and, and Rubrik have worked together. Um, and, it, and it, you know, when I saw the demo of how, how Rubrik had integrated safe mode snapshots into their, you know, in, into their product, um, it, was, it was everything I would have liked to have seen about 15 years ago. You know, super simple. You know, couple of clicks, and you're up and running. So, um, I'd, I'd certainly urge. Uh, you know, I know we all have a lot to consume and not a lot of time, but I'd, I'd certainly urge this audience to go and, um, you know, review some of the materials. And 
you know, reach out to us. We, you know, we'd love to answer more of these questions if we had the time. Yeah, super. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, well, thanks to both of you. And uh, I guess just, just, you know, one more time, Ramesh, um, you know, there's, um, you know, there's a lot of great information here about this this partnership. You know, just one more time, what's what's the best way for for people to uh, to get started with uh, with you guys on this? There's many ways, right? I mean, the, the one of the things I'd recommend is um, look into what Rubric Zero Trust is offering with partners. Um, take a hold of the assessment. Uh, this is a hot area for all of us and uh, reach out, right? Reach out, you know, because we would love to help you out with assessments, whether you're running any of the data security solutions, uh, we can complement them and take the ball forward. And you can reach out to datasafety at rubric.com, you can reach out pure at rubric.com, you can reach out to us independently, whatever shape or form you prefer. Fantastic. Well, uh, Ramesh and, and David, Thank you, thank you both um, for a great presentation and and all your thoughtful answers in the, in the Q and A portion. Re really appreciate your time today. Pleasure. Thank you so much. And, and before we wrap up, we do have one more piece of business. It's the three hundred dollar Amazon gift card prize drawing. And the winner of that gift card is Tim Ortel from California. So congratulations to Tim. We'll be in touch to get you your card. And with that, on behalf of the actual tech media team, I do want to thank uh, Ramesh and David again for, for this great presentation, and then also Rubric and Pure Storage for making this event possible. And last but not least, I'd like to thank all of you for attending, and especially for, for all the great questions today. It was just uh, you know fantastic. Uh, really appreciate all those questions. So. With that, we're going to conclude today's event. Have a great rest of your day.